All right, so to do the RNA-seq alignment, we need two things. We need the FASTQ files and the reference index that we made in the previous video. So if we look in reference folder, it should look something like this. And then for the FASTQ files, I have eight samples that I got from NCBI Geo. I downloaded them using FASTQ dump which is part of the SRA tools toolkit. So these are vascular smooth muscle cell culture samples for controls and then four that have undergone replicative senescence. And I'll put the reference in the video description. We also need to have star installed, which I showed in the previous video. I have it installed in my mini conda environment. So now we will go through the basic usage of star align reads star run mode, align reads, genome directory, which points to the reference directory we made earlier. Then we want to save the output as a BAM file. So we need to specify out SAM type as BAM. That will save a lot of disk space. And then we need to specify the read file, so the fastq file, read files n, and then we need to point to the fastq file. So just for this first example, we'll just copy and paste this here. And then we want to specify the number of threads. So run thread n, I'll just run 12. With the note sometimes that you may get weird errors if you run too many threads. So if you do get an error writing the BAM file, just reduce the number of threads. I forgot to specify the coordinate sorting. So we'll just go back to here. And we need to specify sorted by coordinate. So this will run, I'm going to go ahead and cancel it though. Instead of running it one by one, I'm actually going to do it in a one line loop so we don't have to do it all manually. And then there's one other uh, parameter I wanted to show real quick. Since my fast queues aren't zipped already, if they were, you could add a read files command and then gun zip dash c. So if your fast keys were zipped, you would do that. But I'm gonna do this in a loop. I actually have another video on my channel if you wanna see the basics of running Linux loops. So we're just gonna say for file n fast q that ends with fast q. So we'll pick up that random text file I have in there. Do this command. And actually, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to save all this into a new folder. So let me just get rid of this. I'm going to make a folder called mapped. So directory mapped. And just so we don't get weird naming issues, I'm actually going to run this command from the fastq folder. And then I'm going to change instead of in fastq folder, just for every file in this folder that ends in fastq. And then we need to change this since we need to go back one level. And we also need to change this single fastq file to just file. And now that we have that mapped directory, we can add the out file prefix as mapped, and then the name of the file. I'm done. Oops, it's just supposed to be out file name prefix. 
So now it'll go through all the files and run these one at a time. Um, maybe it'll take 30 minutes to an hour or so. So when it's done, you should see something like this. When we look into the map folder, we see that for every SRA file, there's this BAM file and some other file, log files and such, but we only really care about the BAM file here. So I will just make a new folder called BAMs, and I will move all the mapped files that I need .bam to BAMs. So that's it for now. Next, we'll make the count table.